It's our entire staff here for you and your families, keeping you informed, prepared and connected and basically our weather teams in storm mode. So we're we're watching things carefully and I know there's a lot of apprehension out there, but just keep in mind when the weather's at its worst, we put you first and we're going to get through this thing together. In fact, as we look at our potential tropical cyclone nine tonight, the new advisory coming in at eight. And in fact, if there's any change on the track, that would not be until 11 o'clock, but just an update. Still watching an area of low pressure about 700 miles from home. So the one thing that to note here is it's still very disorganized. We're watching to see where this thing really comes together. So there are some question marks because we're watching to see exactly where this low forms. Once we have a better handle of it becoming organized, really not just a low, but a circulation and an actual low pressure that gets its act together, then we'll have an even better handle on its track movement. So we're still fine tuning the track and the intensity. And here we are on Monday night, so we still have a couple of days to watch this. In fact, I don't think our big impacts come in until very late Wednesday night into Thursday. So we'll watch these thunderstorms. Notice most of the thunderstorms now on the eastern side of the low pressure, not wrapping around yet to the west. So that's significant. All right, that means that's another reason why we need to keep checking back and Keep staying tuned for those updates and uh, we'll keep you informed, prepared, connected and calm. Now, right now we've got winds of 35 miles per hour, pressure at 1,002 millibars. Now, if we look at the latest track, OK, this was officially at five o'clock. You see we expect a tropical storm to develop during the day Tuesday and then it moves into the southern Gulf of Mexico on Wednesday. And notice we got a cat one with 85 mile per hour winds and then it's likely to pick up some forward speed. Already we do have tropical storm watches for parts of the Keys. And for our area, for Tampa Bay, uh, we could see possibly our first watches okay, go into effect as we go through the day Tuesday. So just keep that in mind. Now, as this thing starts to move north, starts to race a bit off to the north and north northeast, could still potentially become a major hurricane before landfall. A lot of the models and what, what I've been thinking all along, heading up more toward the Big Bend and Apalachicola. This could still shift to maybe even a little bit farther west, so we'll continue to watch that. Also could shift a little bit farther to the east, so every mile matters as we know as these things really turn to the north. And notice by Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening, that's when we could see that landfall as a major hurricane, possibly a category three, then it'll continue to move off to the north. So that's what we're watching uh, with the latest. Now, what does this mean? OK, Gulf storm, so hurricane likely in the Gulf, category two or three possible. For us, keep in mind, we could have some of the first rain bands that actually move our way as we go into to Wednesday afternoon. That's the key, late Wednesday afternoon. So if you have loved ones that need to get to where they need to go, you know, we need to do that on our Tuesday and make sure everything and everybody needs to be where they need to be by late Wednesday afternoon, okay? Because things will change rapidly by Wednesday night. As we go into the rain bands, yeah, they could become heavy, and more of the severe weather type rain bands that we're, we used, we're used to seeing here in Tampa Bay. That would probably hold off until early Thursday, very late Wednesday night and a Thursday morning, and then much of the day Thursday. And then the strongest winds in the surge would arrive Thursday afternoon, okay? So we're watching those high tides at St. Pete that come in around two o'clock. Uh, actually, it'd be as we go into the afternoon watching those tides very carefully because that's when we could see the first surge. All right, with this system and we'll fine tune that for you. Conditions may improve and will improve. It looks like based on the latest uh, track by Friday. We take a look again. Watches and warnings to the south. We could be included here in Tampa Bay tomorrow. Our latest model. This is the graph model that updates pretty rapidly almost by the hour. So I want to show you this here so you can see our storm coming to the north. If there is a trend that's our friend, the latest track has been a little bit more farther to the west, just a nudge a little bit. But again, uh, as we look at the overall picture, I think the models are coming to better agreement as to far as where it's heading. And notice does make a beeline up toward the big bend and then Apalachicola. So for our weather team, we've got a weather impact alert officially Wednesday night, Thursday and Friday morning. The impact storm surge, flooding and wind are my big three and make sure you know your zone and keep checking back for updates. And as we take a look at why, well, you can see why. We got a lot of wind and rain, even a surge likely with this system as it moves to the north. And I know we don't need another drop of rain. We've had too much rain. Well, we're gonna have plenty of rain, it looks like once again with this system as it moves up to the north. Seven day forecast, here we go. We've got the worst of the weather with what will be Hurricane Helene. Okay, that would be late Wednesday night, Thursday, and then improving conditions by Friday morning.